In November 2006, O'Hare International Airport in Chicago became the stage for an extraordinary event that would baffle airport personnel and witnesses alike. A dark, saucer-shaped object, approximately 20 to 30 feet in diameter, hovered ominously above the United Airlines terminal, defying conventional explanations and leaving experts scratching their heads. This incident, known as the 2006 Incident at O'Hare, thrust the topic of UFOs into the spotlight once again, shedding light on the mysteries that lie above us. By delving into the intricate details and specificities of this enigmatic event, we can gain a deeper understanding of its significance and the questions it raises about our perception of reality. November 7, 2006 began as an ordinary day for the bustling Chicago airport. However, the routine atmosphere soon transformed into one of awe and bewilderment as numerous airport employees and witnesses noticed an object that defied logical explanations. Described as a metallic, saucer-shaped craft, the object appeared devoid of visible markings or lights. It hung silently in the sky above the United Airlines terminal confounding onlookers with its unconventional behavior. At approximately 4.15 p.m., authorities received a report that a group of 12 airport employees were witnessing a metallic, saucer-shaped craft hovering over gate C-17. Eyewitnesses were astonished as the object remained stationary for an extended period, seemingly unaffected by the laws of gravity. Airport personnel, including pilots, ground crew, and air traffic controllers observed the craft with a mixture of disbelief and fascination. The object's uncanny ability to hover effortlessly piqued the curiosity of those who observed it. Its dark metallic surface reflected the sunlight, providing a stark contrast against the clouds in the sky. Witnesses described the object as completely silent and 6 to 24 feet in diameter with a dark gray color. Several independent witnesses outside of the airport also saw the object. One described a disc-shaped craft hovering over the airport, stating that it was obviously not clouds. The Chicago Tribune reported the disc was visible for approximately five minutes and was seen by close to a dozen United Airlines employees, ranging from pilots to supervisors who heard chatter on the radio and raced to view it. As its presence persisted, an even more remarkable event unfolded. The object reportedly punched a hole in the cloud cover, adding an extra layer of intrigue and mystery. Witnesses described a circular opening in the clouds directly above the object, with sunlight streaming through the gap. The bizarre phenomenon further intensified the urgency to understand the nature of the object and its capabilities. News of the incident at O'Hare rapidly spread, capturing the attention of both the public and the media. There's a story you may have already heard about, United Airlines employees who swear it was something otherworldly in the skies above Chicago's O'Hare Airport on November 7th. Several airport workers, some of whom have talked to the Chicago Tribune, who say they saw a saucer-shaped UFO. They saw one, a UFO. They say it hovered over a terminal without lights before shooting straight up right through the clouds last fall. However, the official response from authorities left much to be desired in terms of transparency and information of substance. Both United Airlines and the FAA initially denied that they had any information on the O'Hare UFO sighting until the newspaper, the Chicago Tribune, which was investigating the report, filed a Freedom of Information Act request. This request led to the discovery of this audio between the air traffic control tower and various people on the ground. Air tower, this is Dave. Hey, Dave, it's Sue from the United Tower. Hey, Sue. Hey, did you see a flying disc out by C-17? Oh, uh, it doesn't even start, Sue. No, <laughs> Fly, You're seeing flying discs. Well, look at the pilot and the ramp guys are telling us the C-17, they saw some flying disc above them. We can't see Come above on, us. Come on, Sue. You can't see it, right? Hey, you guys been celebrating the holidays or anything there or what? You having a Christmas party today? I have not seen anything, Sue. And if I did, I wouldn't admit to it. No, I have not seen any flying disc at gate C-7. Unless you get a new aircraft you're uh, bringing out today that we don't know about. No, I have not seen anything, Sue. So. I'm going to tell Dwight. Dwight? Yes. What happened to Dave? 
Did he have to take a break because I called him? No. <laughs> this is Sue from United. Yes. Dude, there was a disc out there flying around. There was a what? A disc. A disc? Can, yeah. can you hang on one second? Sure, do Thanks. I. Okay, I'm sorry. What uh, what can I do for you now? I, uh, all right. There was, I told Dave there was a disc flying outside above Charlie 17, and he thought I was pretty much high. But um, I'm not high, and I'm not drinking. Yeah. Someone actually has a picture of it, so if you guys see it out there. A disc? Like a frisbee? Like a UFO type thing. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have a picture how, of it. Like, how, how high above Charlie 17? Well, it was above our tower. So uh -huh. if you happen to see him, they... You know what? I'll, I'll keep a peeled eye for that. All right. Okay. Goodbye. Tower Kid, this is Dave. Hey, Dave. I'm glad you're United ABC. Yeah, right. I got an interesting one for you, Dave. Some of our employees, I don't know if you heard anything about this, um, some of our pilots on the ground were reporting a UFO sighting at 1,000 feet from the sea side of the airport. Did you guys hear anything about you that? You know what? The ramp tower called me, I want to say, about 10, 15 minutes ago. We have not seen anything up there. Okay. Because she said it was right around gate C-17. Okay. But, uh, I mean, and since she called, I've been looking, but we have not seen anything. Okay. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, if we do, oh, well, I guess, you know. Well, well, no, I'm just wondering, maybe, yeah. we'll have to, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll have to give them uh, C-7 right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Either that or you, know, you guys unveiled a brand new aircraft that I didn't tell anybody about. I know. But, uh, no, we have not seen anything, but we will uh, surely keep an eye out, that's for sure. Thank you very much. No problems. Bye. I got to cue that. Ground Gateway 5668, send the penalty box ready to go to the north port. Uh, Gateway 5668, you can use Alpha to north port and use caution for the uh, UFOs. Uh, Alpha to the north port, we'll take a look. United Maintenance 44. Okay, it's 44, thank you. Right. 44 is going around the north port. Excellent. Uh, you got Eagle and Sky West I over here that. coming around this way. He's turning in no factory. You really got no other gate holds. All right, somebody reported a UFO or a flying disc above Charlie Concourse, seriously. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so uh, nobody can eyes, okay. nobody can see it, but use caution. All right. Um, and <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Gateway 5668. 5668, go ahead. Yeah, look out your window. Do you see anything above United's Concourse? They actually, believe it or not, they called us and said there's a, somebody observed a flying disc about 1,000 feet above the uh, gate Charlie 17. Do you see anything over there? Not that I can tell. Okay. Yeah, I thought my job was stressful. <laughs> uh, we saw it a half hour ago. Who saw it? A whole bunch of us over at the uh, Charlie Concourse. Really? You guys did? Who's this? The United Taxi Mechanics. Remember, before this audio, United Airlines and the FAA both denied that a UFO sighting had even been reported. Following this discovery, the FAA issued a statement attributing the sighting to a weather phenomenon. Such a response, of course, failed to quell the public's hunger for answers and only intensified their skepticism. It further prompted experts and UFO enthusiasts to scrutinize the incident further. After all, the consistent eyewitness testimonies of dozens of pilots and ground crew and the unexplained cloud anomaly gave weight to the incident's credibility, compelling further investigation. In response to growing public interest, the media pursued the story, seeking interviews with witnesses and investigative researchers. The implications of the 2006 incident at O'Hare International Airport are far-reaching and thought-provoking. The sighting of an unidentified saucer-shaped craft, its ability to hover effortlessly and the unexplained cloud anomaly challenge our understanding of known technology and conventional explanations. The incident serves as a poignant reminder that the mysteries of our skies remain largely unexplored. Furthermore, the incident at O'Hare raises questions about the technological capabilities of the object observed. The craft's ability to hover silently for an extended period without any visible means of propulsion challenges our understanding of known aircraft. The absence of any discernible conventional features, such as wings, engines, or navigation lights, further deepens the mystery. Some theories propose that these unidentified objects could be advanced aerial technologies developed by foreign nations, 
while others speculate that they may originate from extraterrestrial civilizations. The 2006 incident at O'Hare International Airport continues to captivate our imagination and challenge our understanding of the unknown. Its impact extends beyond a single event, encouraging a broader explanation of unidentified aerial phenomena. By fostering collaboration, transparency, and scientific inquiry, we can hope to unravel the mystery of our skies and gain a deeper insight into the nature of our universe. The incident serves as a reminder that the exploration of the unknown is an essential part of human progress, urging us to remain curious, open-minded, and dedicated to uncovering the truths that lie beyond our current understanding. If you liked this episode of Video Nowhere, please be sure to share this, hit like, hit subscribe, let your friends know, and remember, keep your eyes peeled and your mind open to the wonders of the universe.